Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope everyone is having an amazing day, guys. I'm having a great, great day. I wanted to come, guys, to do some quick videos with you all. Um, doing Using some of these cat mugs that I got, some of them I've had for quite a few years. And then a couple of them I got this past year. And to be honest, I left a lot of these behind in the Dollar General streets because I already had um I already had quite a few of these going. And to be honest, although they're cute, I'm not all that impressed by them. I'm not a I'm not a pet friendly person, y'all. Don't don't beat me up. I know some of you are, but I'm not a pet friendly person. Although I teach, okay. Although I teach what you sell, don't have anything to do with you and your personal preference. <laughs> That's what I teach. I, can I just be honest and say that I was being hypocritical when I didn't get all these cat mugs? I was. One thing about Boss Lady Fee, she could tell on her, I was being hypocritical. I did not practice what I preach when it came to these mugs. So, yeah, I got me, okay? I can chop. I can put me on the chopping block, y'all, okay? What about y'all? <laughs> Can you put yourself on the chopping block like you put others up there? Yeah, so yeah, that was the the thing with that. I um did not practice what I preach and I did not um pick up all of these, okay? Um and I was hoping that they were gonna just come right off. I should have wet my right. Matter of fact, I got a bottle of water right here. This right here works so much better when I um this rag is moist. So let's wait our rag a little bit. And it's gonna hit this tag come off with that adhesive spray. Most of these come right off. I'm praying to God that most of them don't have it because I'm not getting ready to sit here and go with this, okay? I don't feel like turning on that uh, heat now. Daggone. Make you wonder, what do they put this stuff up here with? Now, the stuff that you don't be wanting to come off of items comes off with no problem. And then the stickers that I want to come on off, you got to fight and tug with them. I know what I'm going to do, though, because I never do it. But I have bought several bottles of alcohol recently. I'm going to keep alcohol to the table, and I'm going to keep this to the table because both work. It just depends sometimes what type of tags you're taking off. And no, I'm not going to let y'all sit here and watch me take these tags off. Then, first of all, let me see which ones have tags and which ones don't. Because with these ones, I'm praise God. And that one do, but it's about to come right off. Yeah, that's what we love when it comes right off like that. These are the ones we're going to be concerned with, the ones that don't have the tag. That one about to come off. All right. Thank you. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Okay, so we only got two that we got to worry about getting the tag off. We'll worry about them later. Then I ain't for y'all to sit here and watch me. This is not a tag removing video. This is a money making video, okay? We want to know how to make money, and we ain't learning how to make money by taking tags off. Even though I do pay my nieces, <laughs> I do pay my nieces money to take my tags off for me, y'all. Okay, Sometimes my mom will come over here in the heat of a holiday and um, the heat of me preparing for a holiday and uh, she will um, just come and spend a couple hours taking tags off of stuff for me. So I be loving it. I be hating when I got to do it myself. That's one of the downfalls. Well, I ain't gonna say downfalls, but one of the 
inconveniences of uh, purchasing things from stores versus wholesale. But baby, as long as I can keep getting things for 10 cent, 20 cent, guess what? I'm go take the tags off, okay? Because buying clearance, clearance shopping and penny shopping is going to always, always be better than, than wholesale shopping, okay? I don't care who augurs that down. I'm going to speak with it. I don't care what people say about wholesaling. I've bought both ways. I've been in business my entire life. I bought from wholesalers and I bought clearance shopping. And it's absolutely nothing better than clearance shopping. Hence why I teach it so hard on this channel. Here lately now, I've been... <laughs> Here lately, I've been rocking the roller with Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree has been hit. But um, even with Dollar Tree shopping, it's still cheaper most times to do clearance shopping. Because guess what? This mug, I paid 30 cents. Some of them I paid a penny. So 30 cents versus you going to Dollar Tree. Now, Dollar Tree has some cute mugs sometimes, but I ain't never really seen too many lined with gold and stuff like that. Um, but they're gonna be 125, baby, and they ain't gonna ever be on sale. Ever. So you know. Every now and then they do have some of that seasonal stuff. Hey, if I, I don't ever remember seeing no mugs mixed in with the little stuff that they have half off though. I don't. See how cute that is using one item. This is a bath and body works, gentle and clean, foaming, foaming hand soap. I'm only putting one item in there, y'all. I have got, I have said it before, I have got to order me some more Timu roses, y'all. I love those little Timu roses. I have um, quite a few other flowers, you guys, that I've got from Dollar General. And Dollar General has the bloom.com flower. Let me show y'all what their flowers look like. For those of you that don't know. And I just took this off a of stem. They have really nice, fluffy, full flowers, right? But that's too big to use in something like this. I need the little small roses to go right there. So, boss lady, if you got to get on the game when it comes to Timu, like, I mean, Timu were rolling, rolling, rolling one time. I ordered some shoes from there recently, but I haven't ordered anything business-wise. Y'all, this is perfect fit for these little Dollar Tree um, sets right here, which makes me so glad that every store I went in, I picked a whole display case up. The whole display case. Very, very simple. Put you some paper in there. So even if you don't have these cat moves, baby, you can use any kind of moves you have. I know y'all got tons of moves sitting around y'all house. If y'all pick these up, this is a perfect fit. All I'm going to do is come in and stick some shred on the side. The only thing is I'm kind of debating what color I want to use because it's really not a color scheme going with these gifts. So I don't know what I'm going to use for that just yet. <laughs> Very simple. One piece of tape. Two pieces of tape. Three pieces of tape. Bam. You got your little gift. You can make these in no time, y'all. And these particular ones right here, I'm probably going to sell these for $20. 20 bucks out the door. 20 bucks. Out you got a cute mug that if you went and bought from the store, you'll be paying anywhere from three to five dollars for this mug if you was to go get it now it's from Dollar Tree. I mean Dollar General or anywhere, any type of mug similar to this. You'll be paying anywhere from three to five dollars. And with your little items, by the time you put your cute bag in, twenty dollars, honey. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. 
It's the only one that's not a... Um, cat move. I know I didn't have that one every bit of Probably four years now. And that was the last one. And I went up under the cabinet where I have all these little juice sets. I mean, where I had all these little mugs in. I was like, look, let's get these mugs up out of here, baby. I'm trying to clear it out because I'm going for five figures for Christmas, okay? Christmas has never been a five-figure holiday for me. Mother's Day and Valentine's has, but Christmas has not. So, Boss Lady Fee is going for five figures for Christmas. The only way that I can go for five figures is to have the product ready, okay? Have the product ready. Have a strategy in mind. The strategy is already ready, baby. God has already proven the strategy works. All I got to do is work the strategy and work what I'm doing. Okay, so y'all stay tuned. I'm going to let you know. Even though I don't give y'all my full figures because that's nobody's business but mine, God's, and the bank's. My husband when he was alive because I don't give figures on YouTube or social media platform. But I do let you know whether I make four figures or five figures and whether it's in the high fours or the high fives or whatever. You know, I'll let you know that. But I'm not going to say, hey, I made goom, 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 mm, 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 mm. No, I don't work like that, okay? I'm a boss. I don't, you don't tell nobody where you, how many coins you make, but I'm letting you guys know what figures you can reach, okay? And when I say five figures, I don't be just talking about no 10, 15, $20,000. I'm talking about good into the five figures. Now, I want to get higher into the five figures than what I get into it, but y'all know how hard I work. If you've been following my channel for um, the duration of me being up here, y'all know how hard I work. So, with that being said, y'all know, Boss Lady Fee going for the gusto, baby. I don't play no games. That's why I tell y'all, people that be, I can't relate to people that be competing with other people. I ain't talking about just give past the designers now. I'm just talking about people in general. Like, I can't relate to people that's competing with each other. Because, baby, I'm trying to compete with them figures I got last year. Okay. I tell y'all that all the time. I'm competing with the girl that used to be on Section 8 food stamps. That's me, baby, okay? That's who I'm competing with. So, yeah. I'm like, you know what you made last year, which was super, 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 super. Y'all can tell I'm hyped, I'm sure. And I hope the hypeness is ripping off on y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, baby, I don't, I don't come to play no games. I don't come to play. I come to slay. And I come to fill up my bank account, baby. Okay? I love it when I go to the bank. And they make me fill out paperwork because my deposits be so big. Well, what type of work do you do? Can we see your ID just to make a deposit? Oh, yes. I love it. I love that smoke. I love it. Because guess what? As I told you guys before, I used to sell drugs. I used to sell alcohol. Now, to be honest, I wasn't making that much. Me and my husband weren't making that much money where we were getting questioned at the bank about deposits, okay? That's why I knew that that wasn't what we were supposed to be doing because it wasn't fruitful. It wasn't bountiful. It wasn't producing a harvest. But this gift that God has given unto me is producing a harvest. It's producing more than enough. It's producing an overflow. It's making me be the lender and not the borrower. And I love it. I love it. I love that for me. And I love that for you guys as well. So, yeah. I love that type of smoke. I love that type of attention. Not, not clout chasing attention, but I'm saying when I go to the bank and you question it, what type of work I do because the deposit is so large. Yeah, give me that smoke all day. Question me about that all day. Because at the end of the day, baby, I'm paying taxes on every dime of it. And when you're legal, can't nobody do nothing with you. I ain't supposed to know why. So, yeah. 
I'm working hard. I got a goal in mind. I got to make some things shake, baby. I'm still regrouping from when we bought our first property. Well, not our first. Well, the first property we bought cash. Yes, I'm regrouping from that. From what was it? November will be three years. Yeah, I'm still regrouping from that. I'm still building from that. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. God is so super amazing. I, I didn't come on this video for all of this, but let me tell y'all something about God. When we brought when we bought that property, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go look on my channel, search my channel. It's up there. It's um more detailed information on my new channel. Why I always tell you guys to go on my new channel because that's where I talk about a lot of more personal things. You get to see a little bit more personal in that stuff with me. Um, but yeah, and th with these y'all, I'm just making kind of like random looking type of bows. Okay, all the bows gonna look different because it's really not a color scheme flow to go with these. But I'm gonna bring that in to bring those colors in. So I'm gonna put this up here, but these gonna be very, very simple when it comes to the bows. Um, but yeah, get on my new channel, Life of Boss Lady Fee. But yeah, when we bought that building, y'all, first of all, I had never, ever, first of all, I had never, ever had that much money saved up in my life. Never, ever, right? Had never had that much money saved up in my life. So because I have always struggled with the spirit of poverty, um, and a lot of people may not have been able to tell it by looking at us, because one thing about it, baby, I don't care whether I got food stamps whether I was in section eight or what, as a matter of fact, this house, I tell that all the time, the house that I'm living in now is the exact same house that I was in on section eight. The only difference is now, baby, I pay my own rent. I pay my own rent. And hey, some folk might be saying rent. That ain't nothing to brag about. It is for me because one thing about it, you got to know where you are in life and where you came from. Shout out to the homeowners. I look forward to being one very, very soon, okay? Matter of fact, that's what me and my husband was working on before we bought the church. That's why I was in question about whether I wanted to get the church because I was like, look, I'm trying to buy me a house, boo. I'm trying to get me a house. And God was like, no, you tend to my business and I'm going to tend to yours. I feel like preaching right here. He said, you tend to my business and I'm going to tend to yours. Y'all, we bought that church cash money, went to that church, supposed to have been renting, had no idea the man was trying to sell the church. We have, were already in a really nice um, established building in an established city, um, just having problems with the plumbing and different things in the building that the landlord didn't really want to get straight because he had spent so much money, so he said, on um, repairs and stuff before we got there, which that didn't have nothing to do with me. I still need to fix what I need to fix. But anyway, was just going out renting. So we thought another building. And lo and behold, there was a mistake on the listing. But how many know that a mistake really ain't a mistake? So had I seen that the building was for sale and God knew that about me, he knew about Boss Lady Feet. If I had known that that building was for sale, I would have never went because I wasn't trying to buy nobody's church, okay? We were cool with renting. So, when I got there, find out it's a mistake on the listing. The man's daughter-in-law listed it wrong as a rental property when the man was trying to sell it. And I said, oh, no, I wasn't coming here to buy. He said, yeah, you weren't coming here to buy, but God got another plan for you. God tired of you renting. Long story short, y'all, I paid pennies, and when I say pennies, I mean pennies, not literally pennies, but the value of that building, I paid pennies. I got the tax information for that building not long ago, you guys. That building and that land is valued at a half a million dollars. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. God was setting me up the whole time and God rest my husband. So I was like, you know, babe, I was like, I don't want to get this building. Although it's a really great price and we're able to pay cash money for it. Like this, the most money we ever had. And because we've always struggled with poverty, 
I was trying to hold on to everything I got my hands on, scared that I was going to get back into that place again. And I talked about that in my business seminar, my um, business convention in Warner Robins, Georgia. So for those of you that were there, just say I was there and you know what I'm talking about. But I talked about the spirit of poverty, how it fought me because I had never had that much money and I was afraid that I was going to go back to that place of poverty. So I held on dearly to every dime that I got, even when things I really, really needed, necessities that I really needed in life, I would hold on to that money because I was afraid that it was going to get away and I was going to be back robbing Peter to pay Paul. And I don't know about y'all, but I didn't want to go back to that place. And I just really feel like a preacher. All right. As my son said, I'm preaching better than y'all saying, amen. <laughs> Oh my God, I was determined that I wasn't going to go back to that place. I spoke some years ago in a church service I was in. I said, I'll never be broke another day in my life. And I had said that several times before because there's some people, you know, when folks preach, they be like, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'll never be broke another day in my life. And I had said that so many times. But it was something that resonated on that day. And I feel the Shekinah glory of God. It was something about that day. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was something about that day. Mm. When I spoke it, I meant it. And when I meant it, I went after it with everything that was on the inside of me. And I have not been broke since that day. Has it come with challenges? Yes. Has it come with um, hard decisions? Yes. Has it come with lots of discipline? Absolutely. But I have not been broke. And I'm not talking about just living paycheck to paycheck. I have not been broke since then because I have put in the time. I go hard. I do what I believe. And not only do I believe, but I put in the work to go with what I believe. Because a lot of people say they believe, but then they don't work or go after what they say they believe. You saying you're going to be a millionaire, but you sitting around like you thinking that millions of dollars going to fall out the sky. It don't work like that. Every now and then, you might be blessed supernaturally. And I'll praise to the Most High God because God always blesses me supernaturally with large lump sums of money. I don't know how these situations and occurrences happen, but God always blesses me with large sums of money and it's about time for him to do it again so let me go ahead and speak that in the atmosphere that i'm waiting on god to show up and now while i'm waiting i'm working some folks be waiting and they don't be working but i'm waiting and i'm working at the same time but anyway y'all i didn't got i didn't got all beside myself but anyway i said all of that to say my husband kept pushing and pushing and pushing. Felicia, we got the money, get the building. We got the money, get the building. Y'all, we got the building. I got the deed. Didn't know that shortly after my husband would get killed. And was just thinking about how I would have been out here alone as a widow trying to pay for a church, trying to pay for home, trying to pay for my vehicle, trying to pay for this and trying to do that. Like God had already said, even when you feel like you're going through the worst time of your life. Mm. Oh my God. God already has the plan figured out. He already has the blueprint. He already has the blueprint figured out. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, God. He already has it figured out. Why are you trying to figure it out? He already got it worked out. So everything is working for your good. Everything. 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 The murder. 
is working for my good. Hallelujah. Poverty is working for your good. Rejection is working for whatever it is that you're going through. That's the thing. Keep going through. And that's why the enemy tries to lock you up in a place. That's why the enemy wants you to be depressed and stuck because he wants you to stay stuck in the dark days. But he knows you keep going through, you keep pushing through, you keep waking up with a smile on your face, even though you don't feel like pushing, but you keep pushing. He know that you're going to get to that place that God has for you. But that's why he tries to keep you stuck and bound so that you never get to see the glory of God. You never get to see the promises of God. But I want to encourage you guys today to keep pushing and keep moving and keep going and keep growing and doing what it is that God has called you to do. Because at the end of the day, my God today, at the end of the day, baby. The covenant promises of God are yes and amen. I don't care what nobody else say. I don't care what nobody else do. I don't care what nobody, I don't care if people try to rain on your parade, baby. They can rain on your parade, but they can't stop it. They might can rain on it, but they can't stop it. I don't know about y'all, but I don't mind dancing in the rain. So I'm going to get off this video, y'all, because I didn't get up here for all of this, as usual. <laughs> don't y'all love how god just take over your life and just do just slam donkey and do what he want to do with you oh i love it so anyway y'all i'm getting off of here y'all know y'all gonna see all of these in another video i know y'all like you didn't do it all that preaching and all of that talking and you ain't even finished these gifts but let me do one on for y'all. For the people in the back. The people in the front, they up here saying, Amen. Preach, girl. But y'all know how the people be in the back. I wish Pastor Wood would hurry up and shut up. <laughs> so for the people in the back, let me wrap this up for y'all so y'all don't be disgruntled today. Let's do the pink one, the one item. Y'all said y'all love to see the um, inexpensive gifts, and I'm going to give you what you love to see. I'm going to give you what you love to see, what you love to see. And this one item, I don't know what the value of these things are, because of course, Bob's Black Feet don't go buy no bath and body work pants, so... Only reason I got this, of course, because y'all know I shop at the Bath and Body Works outlet, and I paid two twenty five for these. But um, as far as me personally, oh no! Nah. So I don't know what the value of them are, but I can go ahead and tell you that with this mug and this, it's probably gonna be about um probably about seventeen dollars maybe. Y'all let me know in the comments what the value of these hand soaps are. Of course, I can look it up. But, um, that's what I'm base it off of. They probably about, mm, I don't know about Bath and Body Works. Probably about $10, maybe. $10, $12. Regular price. But anyway, I know it's not going to be no cheaper than that. I do know that. When I price it. So cute. So yes, you can use Bath and Body, make Bath and Body Work gifts with one item. Well, you know, your mood is really counting as two. But um, putting just one item in your gift. Y'all know I do the lotions like this. I do the body washes like this. I know some people only like to buy body wash. I mean, Bath and Body Works and... Um, in um sets but me if i can get a piece like and when i go to the outlet and they only got like one of a piece one of a set or two pieces of a set baby i get it because i always do gifts like this and then when i go get my inventory up from upstairs with my um valentine stuff and i get my little bears i'll mix a little bear with something like this i would have put a little bear 
and this up here, but I don't have any small bears um, downstairs. So this is what this is, and this is going out for Christmas, of course. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, and please do share this video, guys, because somebody else needs to be encouraged and need to know that no matter where you are in life, baby, that trouble don't last always. And I always like to say tough times don't last, but tough people do. All right? I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam! You will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.